say something, they'll do it on purpose. Like you said, she wanted to... Which? I remember one time a, a lady was coming to my church. <laughs> and, uh, you know, she didn't know the Lord. And, and she came in. Remember that lady? She came in brarless. She came in, you know, wearing no bra. And all, it was obvious. And so she did it on purpose. Just to see how, how I would react. And so I got her off to the side. She says, "Yeah, but you know, she's." I said, "I said, you know, you, you know, you can do the right thing, and you know, you don't have to cut, you know." And uh, she got she got mad, and I said, "Why are you getting mad?" And I said, "Just you know, dress properly, you know." But what are you gonna do? I just found it was no reflection on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Then it was the other reflection that I had a client call up, and she was she had mentally ill, and she was complaining about. Me. That I went on a tirade and started swearing at her and doing all this stuff. And my boss got off the phone and he, he just told her, uh, okay. And he told me about it. He says, I've never heard you swear. You know, like that. So I know, so it's, I know not. it's not true. Yeah. Yeah. So verse 29 in our text says, if you, if you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone that, that doeth righteousness is born of God. Okay, that's, that's the scripture that's very important. And what that scripture is saying is, if you're born again, you're going to live a righteous life. You're going to live a life that pleases God. Okay, and that's true, isn't it? When you become born again, you become a whole new person. All right? And... Uh, and that's, that's what's nice about having salvation. Not only do you have the forgiveness of sin, past, present, and future, but now you have a life in Christ, which is a great life. Amen? I don't regret anything about, uh, about my Christian life. Okay? Um, that's better than my unsaved days, I tell you. When I didn't know the Lord, all I did was eat, drink, be merry, party, get drunk, and, you know, and felt miserable. Because that's all, I, that's all I ever learned to do. Then when Christ would come into my life, wow, now I began to live. It felt good not getting up with a hangover every morning. You know? you know, the only thing I regret is that I wasn't saved sooner. Yeah, yeah, because me I, too. I know the peace. Yeah. So Nothing beats the peace of God that passes us all understanding that keeps our minds and hearts on Him. There's nothing like it. Amen. Oh, yeah, we still have our trials and tribulations. But we, have to but we have someone to give them to who gives us victory over them. While unsaved people, they worry, they fret, they stew. Where a child of God knows that Jesus Christ takes care of everything. And even through the trials and tribulations, he's with you. Amen. That's the difference. And uh, that's good. Notice, I'm going to close with, when the Bible says in 1 John 2 that we have a righteous life, listen to these verses. In 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, see that? Be in Christ. He is a new creature. All things pass away. Behold, all things become what? New. There's the key. Ephesians 4, 24. And that you put on the new man, which is after God, created in righteousness and true holiness. Colossians 3.10 And have put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created you. Isn't that great? So that's the new life in Christ. Alright, any questions? Alright.